Hello, beautiful souls. <laughs> I am going to see. Today we are going to um, do something crazy and different. I want to interview my teammates in my online business so that you guys can get to know us and who we are and what we do and mostly talk about things that are, oh, things that we have gone through to get to where we are. Um, and I'm going to wait for Drea to come on. I see. I just sent an invite, so let's see if this works. <laughs> Okay. This is working. Yeah. <laughs> Seamless. That was so easy. Was I love when it's easy. <laughs> Oh, well, welcome, Drea. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for coming on. And I was just saying in before kind of an intro of telling people what what I want to accomplish and um, really just want to have a conversation with my lovely teammates and share you guys with with my followers and talk about like what so in the testimonial videos that I share in my stories, people say, um, I've gotten so much out of this business, um, like way much, way more than just money. And I want to talk about the way more. <laughs> um, that's like where I resonate is the personal development that we get out of this. And it's from the smallest things. So, um, so yeah, like, um, and I know we talked earlier, um, but what, I, I don't know, I guess what comes to mind when I say all the things like what what are some things that you've gained in the pro the process of being in this online business I know that's like a loaded question because there's so much but like what comes up for you it's a great question it's a lot <laughs> yeah. um it's like where do I even begin um you know a lot of it is who I who I am now versus who I was when I started so you were talking about the personal development and all of the resources that we have as well as you know just we like we share resources within this community too it's if someone has a healer that they work with or um, you know they found this really amazing meditation we have vibe boosters and just all these different things where someone will hear that you're going through something like Oh, I totally worked through that and this is how I did it. Here's all the tools and it's it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I love that. It's yeah. It's having a a community of people who who care about each other's who care about each other's like each other. Like I don't even like on a deeper level than just like, "Oh, it's cool you're alive." It's like, "No, I want you to win. I want you to be your best version of yourself. Like I want you to feel good. I want you to be living your dreams." It looked like you were yeah. going to say something. Yeah, okay. no, for, for sure. I like cringe because I was like, oh, I'm going to interrupt you. Sorry. Um, it's okay. No, I, I actually get it. Like, it's, it's not, it's like a community, but it's, it, but the, the community itself is so rich and deep, right? Like, um, and, and people stand for one another, like holding each other accountable too is another thing that I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> I said I was going to do this thing. And my friend is like, hey, come on, you know, and I love that. And they do it in like a very loving way as well. And, um, and yeah, so it's, I hear it's the, the rich community. And then it's also like these um, things that people have done and they share and, um it's a deeper resonating feeling that you get and like a validation, right? Like of people who have been through similar things as well. Yeah, totally. And to add to that, there's this culture of 
there's no gatekeeping. It's all, oh, this is what worked for me. This is how I got through this. And I'll, most of us go through really similar things. There's the imposter syndrome. There's the worthiness. There's the you know self-love. There's the consistency, the discipline, all these, I would rather say devotion instead, sort of like devotion to your goals instead of discipline. But yeah, and so like we all, it's crazy how human we all are, right? And how being human re- literally means that we're, we all go through really similar things because we're all growing up in, on this planet and being influenced by the external world. And it's, it's having this, this alternative to what is like the norm. You know, the norm is that we ugh, like st- trade our time for money and we slave away and we don't have any time for self-care. And, you know, one of the things that I've, I've gotten out of this business too, is the amount of self-care that I do. Like right now I'm, I'm actually house sitting in my friend's beautiful dome home and they have, and and, you know, it's like, I have my own house, but they have so many amazing healing, you know, um, gifts, gizmos and gadgets that I was like, I will spend 12 days in your gorgeous house, right? <laughs> and like go in the sauna, do the biomat. It's like I'm drinking my Kangen water. I'm doing the, eat, what is it? It's the amp coil. It's just, they've got essential oils because that's their business. And it's just like, you know, all these things. And focusing on, you know, journaling and doing my gratitude practices and just like getting the opportunity to do a reset. And, you know, it's the more that we take care of ourselves in this business, which this doesn't really happen other places, really. It's like if you work your job and you become a better person, you're probably actually just going to quit your job. Like, let's just be real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And That's and like, here instead. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I was, was just going to say here. Oh. <laughs> you and I are like. Okay, I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> go and then I'll, and then I'll, I'll pass it. So, (laughs) so, oh, I forgot what it was. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say, like, like, I remember actually asking, like, I was, I was at the point where I was like, I'm going to quit or you give me a four day work week so I can have more time to take care of myself. Cause I was doing count. I was a counselor and I just could not keep up with the emotional strain. Right. And, um, and I was really taking care of myself then. And, um, yeah, so then that now I'm here, obviously, right? But it's like you don't you don't get this. You don't get like um, if I'm having a hard time and I'm asking my community for help. One of the first questions is, "What are you doing for self care?" And like that makes me feel really, really loved, right? It's also confronting, but it's it makes me feel really loved. <laughs> yeah, you are. That's what I'm. Saying. You're so loved. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. It's such a blessing to to be in this journey together and to know you and continue to know you more. So yeah, I just felt like I wanted to say that. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so when it comes to the personal development, I something else that's come, comes up for me is around sister wounds and around, you know, community and my relationship to it and, and even just friendship. Right. So, you know, when I was, a, when I was a kid, like, I don't, it's not my, I'm going to go to a deep trauma share, but I was, <laughs> I really was the, the oddball. I was the weirdo and it, I just wasn't accepted. Right. I wasn't, I didn't get to be myself. And so I went through a whole period of masking and masked for like a really long time. And I thought I was so cool. Cause I was like, I can hang out with anybody. And really what I was doing was sacrificing myself. Right. I was like, I can hang out in any crew and be able to have fun and do the thing. And, and that, but it wasn't actually nourishing. It was just getting that like uh, superficial kind of, at least I'm around humans <laughs> sort of need taken care of. And, you know, because of this business and because of the the collaboration that we get to have, it's, I've been able to heal so much around just these wounds that I just believed I needed to be someone else in order to be accepted and loved. And that's not true. I get to be me and I get to be accepted and loved. And yeah, just to have that reflected back to me and to to be celebrated in my meanness <laughs> has been 
huge. It has, um, yeah, just still a lot of gratitude for that. And yeah. go ahead. I was just gonna say, like being gotten on such a deep level, and then it's not. It's like that. Like there's so many levels too. It's it's like. Um, being gotten on a deep level with a woman and a person who loves you for you, you know, and like you're saying, he healing those sister wounds, like, I don't know about you, but growing up as a, as a female in a female body, um, younger, it was very competitive. Like it, it's just, it's so weird, you know, and to not have that has been, um, just exponential growth for me, you know, just in learning how to trust people in a really big way as well. Like trust what they say is what they mean. So my totally. rabbit che totally chewing on the box and it's, it's really loud. And so I'm going to move it just so you know, that's what I'm doing right in this moment because I'm like, I cannot concentrate. And <laughs> I understand. I totally understand. It's funny. I like was feeling like I needed to take a, a quick moment to uh, my tea. I've got the uh, the strainer in there and I am trying to drink my tea with a strainer in it. <laughs> yeah. And it's it's not working. So I need to grab the, the strainer cup. So we both had to take a moment. Yeah. Self-care moment. Self -care Look moment. at that. <laughs> Self-care moment for the win. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, celebrating so your self-care moment, celebrating my self-care moment. <laughs> yes. yes, and just being honest and authentic, right? Like, like that's another thing too. I have this, I mean, I think we all do, but for me, I have this thing where I want to look good and not, and or like do it right. And it's like, it's just what it is. <laughs> totally, so, yeah. totally. And I'm, it's funny when we first got on here, uh, just to share a little vulnerability of the weird thing that went on in my head. I was like, why does it look so dark? <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's really dark. Does it look dark or is it just me? No, it doesn't no. look dark. It looks funny. beautiful. It looks like a treat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is a treat to be here. <sighs> yeah, and on that note, actually, while we're talking about this just epic spot that I'm in right now, um, Something that's been really nourishing also for me and something that I haven't really done a lot of is dreaming bigger and really allowing my, myself to feel what it would feel like if I had what I wanted. Because for a really, really long time, I'd actually given up on my dreams. I was like, oh, I'll never own my own property. Like I have too much debt. I, you know, I'd had every single reason for why, because, and also because I don't want to work a J-O-B, like just over broke, not for me. I'm not doing it. And so, you know, I actually lived in vehicles for six years of living on the West coast. And I've, I now have a house and I'm excited to own my own house. Like right now I'm renting, which was, which even that was a big step, right? Just healing my money wounds. Cause like, I, I don't want to like, have a house because then I have to pay rent and then I have to stress and ugh, I'm freaking out. And then I was like, I'm just really tired of having to drive somewhere to go to the bathroom. So that's hashtag van life. It's not as cool as everyone thinks it is. It can be maybe, but man, it can be stressful too. So my point was dreaming bigger. So yeah, I didn't think that I'd be able to ever own my own property and yeah, I just, I just kind of just gave up on my desires. And then when I saw this, this business model, and I also saw people in our community purchasing their 96 acre, you know, horse farm, like, purchasing their 26 acres. Dude, like real people you get to talk to, like, they're not just like this figure that's untouchable, right? Like that's, that's so freaking cool. <laughs> yeah. And I've been able to squeeze both of them. So uh, Carmen Smith and Louise Millman, I got to meet, I've seen Carmen at like every event um, since I've been in the business, but I got to meet Louise and I was just so excited because yeah, having a permaculture food forest is, I want that so bad. Like I, I want it. And my, my partner is into permaculture and Korean natural farming. And it, it's funny to live on property that's not yours and then, you plant fruit trees and you're like oh it's like it's good to leave the land better than how you found it but 
you never know what's going to happen too. people are like, Oh, I purchased the land. And then I cut down those trees. That drives me nuts, but that's a whole nother just tangent. But so one of the things that really struck me, um, one of our mentors, Balaj W. Cardos, he talked about allowing yourself to experience luxury and experience the things that you really want in your life before you have them to feel how you feel when you're actually there. So like in this, in this scenario, the way that I've been feeling in this home is so, I feel peaceful. I feel, um, I feel joy. I feel creativity. There's just so much that's in here that I get to carry with me as medicine. And, you know, if, if you're listening to this and if there's anything that you get out of, um, like this conversation, I really just want to invite you. If you have a car, that's like your dream car, go to the dealership and take it for a test drive because that that doesn't cost anything. Go see what it feels like to be in that car and then know how that feels so that when you are working towards it, you're able to actually do it. You know, something that I've really wanted to do is there's a like couple of properties around here that I have my eye on and I'm like, I need to go talk to the realtor and just go check the house out and see what it feels like when I'm there so that I have more momentum to actually work towards my dreams because they're possible here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, the the experiencing it before you have it is has been for me like life changing. Just in and in, in, in really like feeling it in your body and ex like having that uh, a visceral experience. Um, like there has, there actually has been t moments in my life that that has happened and I haven't even thought of it. Like it just happened, right? But being intentional about it, it really brings it to fruition, which is nuts like it's like for me has been just like it's like a mind blow you know um and for example like uh Davey and I really wanted to live together and and I used the meditation the Joe Dispenza meditation to really feel like what that would feel like and then it got to a point where I was feeling really devastated about it and then I was like no 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 no, no don't go back in that train of thought you know and I, and then go back into what it would feel like. And then I swear that day they were like, Hey, we have a place and it just it opened up and we went and looked at it and boom, boom, boom. Like, it's just, it's just crazy. Um, mm -hmm. and yeah, so I, 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 that in itself is a whole tangent that we could go on, you know, of just like, like giving yourself permission to feel what it would feel like to have it. And, um, I also heard you say money wounds, which is something that I hadn't heard before I got into this business as well. Um, like not even knowing how I talk about money and let alone feel a, about it or what I, how I, how I use it, you know, or what I do with it when I have it. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. So like that, that's a whole other thing we could talk about. Too. Yeah. Um, that's a but yeah, whole, was, whole interview in yeah. and of itself. Yeah. For financial thermostat, you guys, check that out. <laughs> It'll blow your mind. <laughs> oh yeah. boy, when what do I feel safe holding on to, and what what's the point where I just blow all my money? Like, oh, that's unsafe to have. Let me get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That's a whole other topic mm. that we could go. But it's like. Um, even just the platform that we have was, I felt like a kid in a candy store. I was like, oh my God, I can learn about this. And like, I can, I can grow in this way. And it was, yeah, it was, um, yeah, it's been, for me, it's been really amazing. Every day I feel like I change. Um, mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's, I feel that. <laughs> oh, it's so cool, you know, <laughs> but and I get to meet beautiful people like you, you know, and it's just like, um, I don't know how to describe it because it's so real, you know, like the mm. love is so real. Um, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it's authentic. It, yeah. It's like, that's the word that comes up for me when you were sharing that it's, it's genuine care and it's genuine, um, like 
desire to see each other succeed. Whereas I feel like a lot of the world is in the competition paradigm where, oh, oh no. And I'll share that I, I've experienced this being an event producer in my small town of Ashland. And you can just, you, there's an energy to it. You can feel the competition vibes of the like, oh, how many people showed up at your event? And it's just like, oh, like, don't do your event one week before mine. And it's like, whoo, I don't know. Um, so it's just, it's something that I, I'm really happy to be in a different sort of paradigm where I realize that like your success is my success and anyone within the community's success is also our success. You know, then it gets even more deeper on a spiritual level because, you know, like I am you and you are me and all that kind of stuff, depending on what you believe in. I'm, I'm just, just spitting here. What is my, my views? Um, but yeah, it gets, it gets to be a lot more, what is the word? It gets to be, I don't know. It's like, it, I feel peace in my body around it where I know that, you know, no one here is trying to, you know, undercut me or something, or I, I don't, I don't know, like just that kind of weird paradigm that happens a lot in, in just the business world. And you know, have to out compete. It's like, no, we, in this, in this paradigm, we get to learn from each other. Yeah. We get to go, oh, I feel inspired by what you hey. just did. That is so exciting. Like, oh, you just had a hundred K month. That's awesome. Because that means that that's possible. <laughs> you know, <laughs> thank you for paving the way. Yeah. And, and, and you get to share authentically, right? Like, um, and, and even if you do have some sort of, um, you know, like emotion, like jealousy or something come up, you can say like, wow, like I'm, I'm feeling mm -hmm. right now and that's, that's, that's weird. And, you know, it's just like this, um, this, mm -hmm. uh, space where you can just be, you know, and like you're accepted the way that you are and, um, who do you want to be? And, and it's only, it's almost like you need that container to grow into the person that you want to become. Mm. Totally. Yeah. And, and, and also speaking to that on proximity and just in, even just being around people who that's the way that they operate. We like, we're social creatures, we're mammals. Like we learn from each other. And when we're, when we notice that there is a way to not just survive, but also thrive and we see that other people are doing it and we're like, well, what do you have, what is that? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and it, it really does it's like, I feel like it changes you almost on a cellular level. Um, there's this woman in our community, Alex Tripod, and she does these amazing um, abundance codes and vibe boosters that I mentioned earlier. And just like being like giving that woman a hug at an event, I was, I was like, whoa, I'm getting the downloads of the abundance codes over here. Like, whoa, like that's happening. And the, and her and there's this other woman named Jax and they, they share that they're like, all right, I'm here to share the codes. <laughs> and it's, it's literally pretty much, it's recoding how you think be, and how you think is, as then how you act. And then it's, it reflects in the world around you. So oh, yeah, I just, just, I just really love the person that I am now. And I, I did not feel that way a couple of years ago. Like I actually thought that having a, it was a healthy level of self-hatred was what I would say out loud to people. And I'm really happy that I don't feel that way anymore. And that I actually love myself and I, I show up in loving myself and I take care of me and I have better boundaries and I, you know, take retreats to myself and I get massages and and I'm in healthy relationships with people and like I'm working on healthy communication. And these were all things that if I was coming from a place of, oh, I hate myself, like I wouldn't be doing any of that because why would I go and get a massage and invest in that if I hate myself? Because then I don't inherently deserve it, yeah. you know? Yeah. Or even like, you know, even there's a, like a subconscious level of hating yourself. And then the, the conscious level is no, I know I need to love myself. Right. And you've got this like dichotomy of, I need to go get a massage, but I can't afford it. And like, that's your, excuse, yeah. you know? and it's like, well, how about you make it a priority and get off Netflix or something? You know? 
like it's just so interesting if you really if you can really um get down to like looking in the mirror and getting down to what it what is it that that i don't like about myself let's turn and look at it and and like this container gives you that you know and and it's almost like we're talking about boundaries and everything they all just like fall into alignment because you start being the person that loves yourself and then you start Mm. hearing the way that other people are talking to you and you're like no 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 we don't do that (laughs) you know it's like it almost is just a side effect of it it's not like oh i need better boundaries let's go to the library and get a boundary book you know like it's just you just do it <laughs> I, I had right right the other day with my friend and i was like like hey listen like you, please don't put me in a box and judge me I, that's not very nice and it was just came out of my mouth <laughs> like and it was loving and it was no like it, it didn't have to be anything it just was what it was and um mm. and he was like oh i didn't sorry i didn't even think i did that and i was like yeah it's all good <laughs> wow that's so powerful good job yeah yeah and i was like so proud of myself i felt i felt the anxiety and i got all red you know and i got i felt the anxiety and then i was just like maybe it's not anxiety maybe it's actually just like excitement for like standing up self you know um mm. yeah anxiety and excitement are two sides of the same coin and when I found that out and realized that I felt excitement because <laughs> yeah, if, if you just, it's all about how we look at things, right? And it's about, it's about mindset. And so the, the other, the other bits and we haven't, I don't think we've used the word mindset yet, but wow. which is funny because we've been talking about mindset this whole right. time. Um, but yeah, it really is about changing how you look at things because the only reality that any of us really know is our own it's just our brains (laughs) and however the brain is interpreting the world you know you get an account from you know any crime scene and everybody sees it different everybody saw something different based on their perceptions based on whatever wounds they have from the past based on just I mean angle perspective xyz all of it it's but everyone's going to give a different account like no one's gonna have a, a similar it's it so it's hard in in that respect and so it really is a, t- a testament to just how important it is to get your mindset right and to to do affirmations and to meditate and um yeah to just take care of care of not only your your body but also your mind and you know lovingly think it because at the end of the day all of these negative ne- negative i don't want to like necessarily uh label things but these patterns they kept us safe for our whole lives and so then we just keep running the pat the the pattern because that's what our brains are here to do is to make sure that the animal stays alive (laughs) and we learned all of these maladaptive ways to survive that we get to heal through and we get to look at the world differently and you know if you see people out there feeling a lot of joy and have living their best life it's because they chose that and that's something else that I've really gotten from being in this business and being in this community is realizing that I get to choose like my my happiness my joy living a life of my dreams really is a choice oh my god I love that it, I, so I don't know if you see, saw inside out too but I totally <laughs> cried at the end of it so I'm not gonna ruin it for everybody but um it's a, like you're saying like a choice when you actually stop ground yourself and choose joy you know like in this moment i'm going to look at this in a different way and it's um like the pattern like you're talking about the neural pathways in our brain if we keep doing the same drama and acting out the same same thing over and over again it's like a line in the sand that goes into a groove and concrete and it's so hard to get out of that pattern right because we've gone over it so many times and you really it really takes something to just like nudge that needle out you know and like take a different pathway but once you do it you're like oh (laughs) there is a different way to live you know and it's so powerful because you get to experience it it's not it's no longer just 
think positive or, you know, like take the high road or whatever the hell these sayings are. Right. But it's like, no, you get to experience it. Like that's, that's the, um, that's for you, right? Like you, you taking that other pathway and going in, stepping into the unknown and, and seeing something different for yourself, right? Loving yourself enough to mm-hmm. not spew out the words that you usually do to get in a fight with your partner or whatever it might be, right? Like you doing something <laughs> different, right? You get to experience experience it that love and joy it's like a celebration for you that your body gives you it's Mm. it's remarkable absolutely remarkable and it's like having the humility to say actually i'm not right or um you know it it just could be the simplest thing of just not saying a thing and not doing anything (laughs) in that moment you know that's for me is always like bite your tongue like don't say the thing (laughs) um because I want to be heard right so I yeah but anyway but yeah it's like this um um gift it's like a gift (laughs) when you choose choose the joy right yeah Mm. yeah Mm. yeah I really resonated with everything you just said there so I'm just going to sit with it for a second yeah. And see what else wants to come through. It's hmm. it's almost like okay, so when I first saw that for myself and I did not so it was with my partner and I did not say anything and I was like in my mind I was just like I love you for everything you are and I love you for everything you're not and I just sat there and said it over and over and over again. Because honestly it's it's like me loving me and the, those parts of me. You know, um, we, we all have parts of ourselves that we're not proud of that come out in some really gross ways and we don't talk about it, but like for me to do that, it was like, (laughs) it was almost like, is it that easy? You know, (laughs) like all this time I've been suffering and I've been doing it to myself. It's the cosmic joke. Yes, cosmic joke. Like part of it is hilarious, and the other part, I'm like, oh my god, it's so sad. You know, I just like, I just wept. I just sat there and wept because it was like this whole time, Hmm. whole time, it's been there. You're telling me it's been me the whole time, and it was actually this easy. (laughs) I know. I've definitely been through something similar. Yeah, and then I have, oh, you look so much lighter. And I'm like, yeah, because I'm not carrying the shit from my past, you know? Like, I let it go. I'm not holding on to it anymore. I'm not holding on to those patterns, you know? Like, the why? What's the point? Yeah. They're not serving you. They're not. And, like, to think not that I can where you yeah, want to be. Yeah, and you can actually let it go. Like, really let it go. If you just choose. Right. Yeah. Crazy how suffering is a choice. It, yeah. It, it's hard. It's hard to admit that. And there's a version of me that would be really angry if I heard someone say that. Yeah, no, I remember. <laughs> no, I did get angry. I remember, I remember being in my 20s and I went to a, a Vipassana meditation retreat. <laughs> the the uh, guy that was doing it was like, um, pain is, what did he say? Oh my God. Uh, pain is inevitable, but suffering is, is optional. And I was like, what is he fucking talking about? Like, <laughs> what is suffering? Suffering comes all the time. And it's just like, could not understand. <laughs> You're like, no, it's normal. It's no- You're oh. wrong guy. <laughs> you know, like what if it's really not? Yeah. It's, it's relieving. It feels, it's almost like you're carrying this thing, like this heavy stack of bricks 
bricks and you're just like, oh, and it's funny because people are almost like, okay, I have this stack of bricks. And this is what happens when people sort of trauma dump or overshare on, on, you know, their stuff. And it's like, please, everybody, I, I swear I am so about therapy. <laughs> like, please go see a therapist. Like there are professionals who can help you unload this and not have to carry it anymore. So anyway, but it's like, it's funny when people, it's not funny, but it's, it's a, it's interesting to a witness when people are, you're, you can see, you can tell that someone is carrying these bricks. Like it is, it is obvious on their body language and it's obvious in how they talk and the tone of their voice and what they share, but they're carrying all these bricks and they're kind of like, can you hold this for me? Can, how about this, this one? Can you, can you, how about, the, can you, this, what about, can, I, I don't want to carry it anymore, but ultimately it ends up, you know, you walk out the door and it all comes back to you anyway. But yeah, I just, I feel like there's so many, and it, and it sucks because there's a lot of, there's a lot of people who are out there suffering and I feel so much compassion and like, I've been there. Like I was, I was that person that used to just be like, oh, here's my brick of suffering. Like, here you go. Like, can you carry this with me? And, and it, and it affects relationships and people are kind of like, Oh, like I like love you, but also it's hard to be around you because all you talk about is this heavy stuff and I don't want to carry your bricks too. <laughs> you know, I just want to hang out and have fun. And there's another way, which is what's exciting. And it, it does take, it takes work. You know, you've gone down this road for a really long time with these bricks and you're like building this brick road along the way and you just keep carrying more and you're so far down. And yeah, you, it takes time to, to turn around and go back in the opposite direction. And there's definitely ways to quantum leap. And I would say that one of the great things about this business is we, we get to quantum leap here. We get to work within our community and, and get the support and get the resources that we need or be pointed to the resources that'll help us. And it's so, it's refreshing. It's just refreshing to be in a community of people who are dedicated to, to self growth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like every person working on themselves, like eventually the collective changes, right? Like humanity can change if everybody just focuses mm -hmm. on, you know, like re really does the work for themselves. That's that's what I'm like so stoked about too. And like going back and hearing you talk about, I, I love the metaphor of the bricks because that's something I can visually see. And I used to be that too. And not only did I dump and overshare with people, but it was like, woe is me. I have all these bricks, you know, it's like, feel but bad I'm, for me. Because I'm choosing to carry. Yeah. And, 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 you know, I used to get pissed at people that were like, you can put those down, you know, and just like, Hey, li listen, the, the common denominator, Amy, is you and it's just like so hard to hear that you know and take it's honestly just taking accountability like that's the, i think that was the hardest thing for me and even going back to what you're talking about of getting land and and being a bigger person you know and putting yourself in even just giving yourself that what which you would be a bigger person right like um the car and the house and the relationship and the money and like all of it right like even just meditation and it's being responsible enough to have all those things like for some reason in my mind i thought it would be too hard and and it is if you're carrying a bunch of fucking bricks <laughs> but it's not if you put them down like the amount of that we're putting in to holding on to things is what's keeping us from gaining things. Mm. Mm. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. There's a certain level of you need to become the person who can actually hold what you, you want. You know, if you like, for me, you know, I've, I've talked a lot about, and I'm still like, I'm like, oh, it feels so edgy. But, you know, something I've talked about for like over 10 years is how I, I would like to be 
a part of starting an intentional community. And I would, I like in my mind and my vision is I see multiple of these intentional communities all around the world. And we, you know, we grow different foods and there's this, this sharing and this network and this like mycelial network between us and just like knowing that the world needs that because there are some crazy weirdo things going on behind the scenes that maybe people don't know about. And um, if you don't know that there is, and <laughs> we can create something that's, that's for us because we don't have to just surrender ourselves to, you know, whatever the powers that shouldn't be are saying that we need to do. Ah, I digress. And, <laughs> but in order to, to be able to, be someone who starts an intentional community because whether people know this or not, 90% of them fail. And the biggest reason is because of the of the humans and the interactions that the humans have and the agreements that they set in the beginning, how they manage their money and the interpersonal relationships and how you actually handle conflict. Those are the main reasons why these, these projects actually fail. And so I've known for a long time that doing the internal work and you know healing my trauma and stepping into the person that I'm really meant to be to hold something like that, it's big. And it, it can, it's a little intimidating. I'm not going to lie. Like, honestly, your dreams should share, scare the shit out of you. Like, they should. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he froze. I, I wonder if it's... Oh. Yeah, there, there I am. My internet's a little little shoddy. Um, yeah, no, I... Um, I oh, I have big dreams, too. Like, I want to create this... Um, sanctuary for people just to come and heal and like mm. however you are is okay and and i want to create this extraordinary experience of love that we're trying to do with our pie business too right and it's like this it's it's what i gain from joining this business to be honest and <clears throat> it's interesting because i have the dream of what it should look like and then i was like wait a second I'm already doing it. <laughs> like I'm really already doing it. And I, I would like to offer you that you are already doing it too. Like an intentional community mm -hmm. that we're a part of. Right. right? And like, um, I'm making like deep, deep soul aligned connections with other humans and we're like healing. <laughs> right. So on a certain level, it's already happening. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm crying. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> you had this like beautiful conversation with a stranger and I wouldn't have been even just like 4 months ago I would not have been as open as I am now, you know, cuz I'm not afraid. I'm like I'm not afraid of the hurt. <laughs> Oh. oh, I'm feeling tender right now. <laughs> it's so sweet. Oh, yeah. And ultimately, that's that's what it's all about. You know, a, a big human need that we have is connection. And so many people and literally we die without it. And it is it is something that we 100 percent need. And oh, like just to. To have something that that you do that is supporting you and supporting other people, and what you're doing is is helping people live a better life, both by becoming like their best selves, and you know, with the incredible products that help heal them, and then this community that we're a part of, and all the growth. It's just, I like, it's creating a giant ripple. Honestly, yeah. like people are feeling it, um, even you know, outside of of the our our actual community it's like every person who is who is doing this work and who is becoming their best selves is creating an impact every time that they they walk you know even just being in their own home but when they especially when they go into public and people are kind of like whoa what are you what are you doing you know what is that vibe that is great i that's amazing i want that <laughs> you know yeah absolutely yeah it's yeah it's um yeah it's been it's been a crazy amazing adventure and i'm like so stoked for the future you know like i'm just yeah and um mm -hmm. i think we've been on here for a while too and i want to be um i want to be respectful of your time as well um 
but yeah, yeah I just uh, so for those that are watching Drea got me into this business so she is my mentor and um, at the, in the beginning I was very distrusting I had all the, the stuff right and I was like what it I want what you have but why you know why are you so <laughs> the way that you are and, like trying to sell me something you know it's like all this stuff and um and, and yeah so what am i trying to say i just wanted to take a moment again every time i have you on a live i just want to take a moment and acknowledge you for creating the space for me to go through what i had to go through in order to get here and mm. i know Oh, I know that was not easy for you and you probably had to create your own neural pathways, you know, um, being with me. <laughs> but I, I, from my heart, <laughs> from my heart, Drea, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this. I love you very much. <laughs> you make me cry again. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't apologize. I just, I, I feel so much gratitude for, for you. And yeah, it's been just such a beautiful journey so far. And I get to look forward to the future and you know us helping people and uh, helping ourselves and really just just living how we want to live and i've seen you go through so much transformation yeah. since you've been here it is it is wild and i have just been cheering you on and like lovingly holding you and just and just being here because i care and i i really um yeah thank you so, so much for for the opportunity to know you and grow with you and um yeah and thank you for trusting me too and thank you for um like allowing me to be be with you and, and some of the like the crunchy parts you know it's 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 a blessing and an honor thank you thank you very much yeah and in, in myself <laughs> like trusting that I have a connection with you and I need to trust it, you know, like, mm. yeah. yeah. Oh. Thank oh. you. Thank you for coming on here and just me. This is like one of many, I'm hoping many, um, I'm calling them episodes, <laughs> like a, like a series of getting to know the beautiful people that I get to work with. And I just want to, show show people how real everybody is and that it's not this you know um it's not what what people think it is it's it's a it is honestly the best business in the world where you get healthy and you heal yourself and in doing that you there's like it's i don't know let's just do it than that yeah i I feel like when you just said that, it reminded me that it's like all of that. And there are like people who are so heart centered who now have the resources to do good things in the world, like create animal sanctuaries and go build wells, wells in Africa and, you know, give to these nonprofits that help, you know, single mothers um, actually be able to get housing, like paying normal like rent prices to like actually rent to own their house. And, you know, it's just like the, the list goes on and on. And if there really just needs to be a, a shift in, in the resources and in, in the wealth and, you know, ultimately we've been fed this lie that we're, we're not worthy and that it's not possible. And, you know, that you have to do X, Y, and Z, in order to to get where to get somewhere but it's it's actually not true they gave us the wrong formula you know on purpose and this is really a formula that allows the people who recognize that like oh wait that's that's wrong whatever's going on there like i don't want to do right or wrong but like looking at it like that's that's not for me that's not love that's like <laughs> it is um it's life taking instead of life giving and mm -hmm. 
just acknowledging that there are so many beautiful people here and like you have your beautiful vision and I have my vision and like we all have our vision for what it is. It's, it's our soul calling and this abundance and the energy to, to do it is 100% our birthright. And, and so it's just about doing that healing work and then also being in a vehicle that allows you to get to where you want to go. And like, I can hand on heart say that this is, this is a model that helps people get to where they want to go. And I know that I'm going there and I know that Amy's going there and yeah, we want to support you in getting to where you want to go also. Awesome. Very well said. (laughs) (sighs) Thank you. Thank thank you. (laughs) I don't know what else to say. I'm like, just thank you so much. I wish I gave you squeezes. (laughs) (laughs) I'm excited to see you in a couple months. (laughs) Gosh, I'm excited too. (laughs) So fun. All right. All right, beautiful. Well, I feel like that's a great note to end on. And thank you to everyone who has tuned in and watched to the end and know that like, if you're watching this on Amy's page to reach out to her, because this is possible for you too. We're really excited to see you on the other side. Yeah, for sure. (laughs) All right. (laughs)